Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to The Kevin Show, Kevin's Fifth. This is a Pentatonics Christmas Extravaganza live stream. So many things. I did not even know this happened. Um, Kevin is one of the members and I guess he gets a segment in the show. So let's see. This next part of the show. The jacket. Is so mind blowing. It's all the about the evolution of our beatboxer. And how, and how unbelievably talented he is in every single way. It's incredible. I know a lot of you know this story, but for those of you who don't, Kirsty, Mitch, and I grew up in Arlington, Texas. That's where Pentatonix started with the three of us. And then we wanted to be on the show The Sing Off on NBC 10 years ago, 11 years ago. But we could not find a beatboxer anywhere and the show was coming up fast and in an act of desperation we went on YouTube and we typed in beatboxers <laughs> enter enter <laughs> and the first video to come up which happened to be going viral that week was a video of Kevin playing cello and beatboxing simultaneously that's how we reacted as well and we were like, oh my gosh, we found the guy, we found him, we found him. How do we message him? YouTube message? I didn't even know that was a thing, but we were like, let's try it. So we YouTube messaged him and we were like, hey man, if you're free. Would you can YouTube message people? Or is that like back in the day? Can you send a message on YouTube, like a DM? Don't flood me if you can, because I don't know about it. I'm late to the party, but I didn't know that you could. Would you like, <laughs> would you like to fly across the country an audition for a TV show with some strangers. <laughs> and um, and uh, he was like, he actually responded. And he was like, you know, I normally would be so down. Like, I love acapella. I've been in an acapella group before. But I'm studying for finals to get my pre-med major at Yale. What? The list keeps going. I know. I was like, oh, same. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, very relatable, Kevin. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but I was like, okay, so that's a done deal. So we forgot about it. But then two weeks later, he messaged again. He was like, great news, got the pre-med major. Oh also, my gosh. A doctor. This man is a, a prodigy. And he was like, and I'm also down to fly across the country and audition for the show with you. So he did. And then we won the show and we haven't stopped for 11 years. And I'll, I'll leave it up to the imagination how the conversation went with his parents, who are here tonight. <laughs> I know I just got my pre-med major, but can I be a professional beatboxer? Please. Um, anyways, he's about to do his cello boxing for you, which is what he did in the first video that we saw. So give it up for Kevin Alushala. Okay, so much, so much, so much. First of all, I love that introduction. I think that was such a gracious introduction story from his, his bandmate. Uh, y'all know I love a story. I love to learn some background information before I hear something because I feel like it opens just some understanding and just, you know, opens you a little bit more to what you're experiencing. You mean to tell me the man is a music prodigy, he's also a genius. Yale, pre-med, get out of here. I also made a mistake. Uh, I recently watched another video of just Kevin and I said he was playing the bass and it, it's the cello. So I'm sure y'all already like let me have it in the comments <laughs> on that video. But here I am apologizing for being mistaken. Um, I also want to say I, I, I mispronounced his last name in the other video as well. But I think he just said it's As Asaula or something like that, which I think is African. Again, I could be wrong. It's not an American last name. And so my point is, because uh, I think that's Scott, right? Scott mentioned, like, imagine telling your parents you're going to drop out of med school at Yale and join an acapella group. And his parents were there. And I'm just thinking, you know, traditionally, like, any, any um, culture, you know, parents who maybe grew up in a different country and came here and you're the first generation – they take education very seriously and or traditionally they do. And sometimes it can be hard to like follow your dreams because you want to 
live uh, live out your parents' dreams and expectations. So I just thought that was another interesting tidbit. And I hope his, I'm sure his parents are wildly proud of him. And also they had to have supported him musically because he can do all these things musically. So it's not, I don't think that they were like, no music in this house. <coughs> anyway, I really enjoyed learning that backstory. And now I'm super excited to hear him play. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, thank y'all so much. This has been such an incredible night. Like, we love y'all so much. And this is truly one of my favorite. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> and can I say, I, I have been excited for this show for a while, because this is a hometown show for me. Uh, this is a hometown show for me. For those that don't know, I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. That's where I grew up. Wow, Kentucky? So Kentucky, thanks for making my band feel like we're at home right now. Thank you all so much. <laughs> so like Scott said, the band found me from a viral YouTube video. Literally, this is, a, this is me practicing cello in my dorm, and one of my friends, Jake Bruin, comes to me and says, have you ever thought about putting this, this thing that you're doing, this cello boxing thing on YouTube? So literally, we, we go to an old dingy basement in my college. He brings a video camera, and this is what I play for him. What is it to go to bed and wake up every night or every morning and know that you are this talented? What is that like? What does that feel like? To just know I can do all of that. And if I want to go back and get my medical uh, degree, I could be a doctor. I'll never know. <laughs> Thank you. So that piece is called Julio by Mark Summer, who's part of the Turtle Island String Quartet, and that, that piece completely changed my life. I now have this amazing career with four of the most incredible people I know. And this cello boxing thing I've been doing now for almost 12 years, one of the things I've realized about it is that I actually love taking classical pieces and trying to reinvent them in my own way. So I thought tonight I'd play an excerpt of the Bach Prelude from the Cello Suite number one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bach. Why does he do that? Is, is that, I don't know anything about the cello. I'm just wondering, that's the second time now he started and stopped and all, like put his head back and all, almost like took a breath to, to restart. And I'm just wondering like, is that, is he warming up the strings? Is that a mistake? What is that? I also love his laugh. He has this, it's almost like a, <laughs> like Santa Claus laugh. I love his laugh. It's so warming and like welcoming. Like there's like seven instruments playing right now. It's so clean and crisp and clear too, which is insanity. Oh my gosh, listen to that come in. Oh 
Oh my god. I would love to see a, a a ballet performance to this, like his rendition of this. Could you imagine like how innovative and like fresh that would be? Oh man, to see a ballet to this. I also have never seen this version of a cello before. It's kind of like a skeleton version. It's really cool. So you guys let me know in the comments what that's called. It's so cool. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Man. Unbelievable. So and I said this in the other video, like, um, obviously I haven't seen everything from the pentatonics. And I, when I first, the first video I ever watched of them, I, I let you all know my introduction to them was on Sesame Street. And they sang the ABCD, like they sang the ABCDs, EFGs, HIJK, Elemental P's. <laughs> and my daughter introduced me to them because she fell in love with the song and we had, we played it on repeat all the time. Um, and so on this channel, I've, gotten to see more and he's always really just beatboxing which is insane that he carries the beat for the entire song and a lot of times you see him stomping and clapping he's really physical in it and then a few videos back I finally heard him sing and I'm like he sings <laughs> and now I finally am hearing all of this and it just really speaks to how humble he is to not feel like he needs to be on his own showing all of his talents all the time he can be a part of something bigger i don't know if you can even say bigger but he can be a part of something and play a role and not feel the need to be this well i can do all this by myself you know i think that speaks to someone's character a lot any artist who can be in a group right <laughs> because most times Majority of the group members can stand alone, but they choose to take their talents and go into a group. And a lot of times it's why groups don't succeed because people want the notoriety and the fame to themselves. So I just think, and this to speak for all of the members of Pentatonix, because they all seem super talented and they all seem like they could go out and have solo careers. And as far as I know, none of them have branched out solo. I could be wrong. Um, but to know that this man can do all of these things, sing play the cello, beatbox, be a freaking doctor if he wanted to. And I don't know what else he plays and what else he can do. He, he was producing in the last video I watched. He produced an entire song right in front of us on the like pad thing that producers use. I don't know the technical term for it. But I just think, you know, what an amazing human being to decide to be a part of something. And then look what it turned into. They showcase all of his everything and they appreciate him and they, they lift him up and they encourage him to showcase all of it so i just think that's beautiful oh man i thank y'all so much this has been such an amazing year and you know it feels like this journey is still not done this this past year this I, sweater is also giving um michael jackson what's the video where oh, of course i'm drawing a blank where he's in that all sparkly suit with the boots to match and he's just dancing what I can like see, oh, I'm so annoyed myself, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That's what this sweater is giving me. It's giving me that. You know, it feels like this journey is still not done. This, 
This past year, I have been going deeper in my own soul, trying to be more vulnerable and figure out what I artistically want to say next. And this next piece that I've arranged and produced, I think is the culmination of that year-long search. And you'll know the piece that this is based on and inspired by. This is called Kevin's Fifth. Oh, oh it's a song. not the whistle you're kidding me you're kidding me Come on, man. oh that's the other guy that beatboxes he plays the drums How is he making that sound like a guitar? And there's dancers. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, are you serious? He's dancing. This is crazy. I forgot to say, because I said this in the last video, I bet he can probably dance. And well, here we are, friends. Here we are getting a whole boom cat set of choreography. I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless.
freaking believable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. One can assume that I guess that's an electric, electric um, cello. And so that's how he's able to make that sound like a whole guitar. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. The stamina, right? The, 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 you have to be in shape to be able, I mean, he played the thing, he got up, he danced, he's he's like beatboxing, like the breath control, just the talent, the sheer amount of hours and hours and hours that went into mastering something like that. I can imagine he sacrificed a lot of things growing up, like friends, birthday parties, you know, all types of things to be that good. That's a one-man show. He could be on the road by himself with a show like that. But again, he chooses to be a part of this big, ginormous thing that together, collectively, is also unbelievable. Wow. Who knew? Y'all knew about this? (laughs) And I did it? All right. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.